Nope. Nope. Not again. So you're a golfer that's tired of topping shots from the floor. You feel you get your tee shots away and the feedback's the same off everybody that watches you and even when you video your swing, that you stand up and you really find it hard to get the bottom of the swing down low enough to strike the golf ball. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop lifting during your downswing. So a lot of golfers know that they lift through impact, but they really, really struggle, first of all, to understand why they lift, and second of all, really, really struggle to stop it. So I'm gonna show you two simple little points that are gonna help you maintain your posture in your downswing, get that ball and then ground contact, and really, really change the way you strike the ball forever. So there's nothing worse, is there, that you've maybe hit a good tee shot in play, you know, you've got an iron in your hand that you feel you can attack the flag. You cold top it five yards in front of you, and the feedback you get from your playing partners is that you look like you lifted up. And to be fair, you feel like you lifted up. And it's really, really hard, because then what you try and do is you try and stay down on the next one, the golf swing feels all compact and tight. You still top it, or worst case, you even stand behind it, take a big divot behind the golf ball. And it's really, really hard nowadays. You know, you might then video your golf swing, and you might notice that as you set up, you might draw a little line at the top of your heart, and as you swing down, you can see that you get taller. Obviously, then the club moves away from the ground and you top the ball. Now, what if you're looking at it all wrong though? And one of the reasons that you're lifting or the key reason you're lifting is you're trying to create room that you've lost in your downswing. So I'm gonna give you a different angle to look at the swing. So we're gonna look at, instead of face on, we're gonna look at down the line. Now, what I see with every golfer who lifts during the golf swing is as they come down into impact, they move nearer to the golf ball the hips move towards the ball, then they're very cramped for space, and the only way they can create that space is to lift up. So if you are videoing your swing, look down the line rather than face on, and I almost guarantee you'll see your hips as you start your downswing going this way. So we're gonna give you a really, really simple feeling. I'm not saying it's gonna be really easy to do every time, but it's a simple concept and feeling to make sure that your hips work correctly in your downswing to give you lots and lots of space to swing into, help you keep your posture better and really improve that ball striking. So, I don't think you'll necessarily need to change anything in your backswing. You may, but this isn't really what this video is about. So as you get to the top of your backswing, what the first movement most golfers will feel is that as they come down, their weight will move into the toes. And that's the first problem, that as the weight goes to your toes, you're moving nearer the golf ball, and then you're gonna to have to start creating room. And also, your belt buckle will start coming up and actually pointing more towards the camera. So, as we move down the line, like I said, from there, get to the top, the weight moves forward, the belt buckle starts coming up, and we can see that it's very hard to hit good shots in that position. So the couple of little feelings I want you to have is you're gonna to swing to the top of your backswing, as normal, and as you start down, the first thing I want you to feel is I want you to feel that your belt buckle points more down at the golf ball. So you're almost gonna feel that your pelvis tilts that way on the way down. Okay, so straight away now, we're in a different position rather than here. So first feeling is belt buckle, more at the ball. Uh, if you can get that feeling to begin with, we'll even hit some shots try to get that feeling. Now, it was better, didn't get all of it, 
But if you're someone who's been topping it five yards, a thin, much as it stings the fingers on a cold day like this, is better. So again, let's have one more through that first movement of belt buckle down to the ball. And that's a completely different strike. So that was good. So that might be the first part that we need. So once we get that first movement from the top, belt buckle down towards the ball. Now what I want you to feel is instead of the weight going into your toes, I want you to feel like you're going to push that left foot towards the camera. And as you push towards, it'll move the hip back. So again, go down the line. Belt buckle down and then feel like I'm trying to slide my foot away. And you can see how this back hip, you might even be able to see my mic pack just appearing. Completely different. The hips are so much more out of the way. And then like I said, loads of room to swing those arms into. Now, I would say the first bit with the belt buckle at the ball is very easy to feel. I think for a lot of guys, feeling like they're pushing the foot away from them is a very different feeling. And it might be something you've never, ever felt before. That doesn't mean it's not a good thing to work on though. And it's really gonna help you stay down, stop lifting, and really start striking the ball better than ever. So let's do a couple of practice swings. Felt good. Really, really good. And I can definitely feel how much more my left foot's trying to push away when I do that one. So let's hit a few shots and let's see what those strikes are like. That felt good. A little bit left for me, but I know at the moment, while I'm just focusing on that feeling, there's something else I can work on in my way through. But as long as you're getting that ball and then ground contact, this will transform your ball striking. So we've got three more balls. Let's see if we can do it well on all three. Just pick that one a little bit. But again, it was solid. And as a miss hit, I'd absolutely take that. And as I said, just a second point on this. Definitely feels a lot, lot quicker. I mean, I've got Trackman on, but I'm not looking at any numbers here. Definitely feels like the club head's moving quicker. And I would expect that because I'm starting to create some energy from the ground upwards, which will go into the club head. The last two. That's the best one so far. Right then, guys. Hopefully you saw there. Two nice, simple tips. Like I said, not necessarily easy to do every time but if you can get that first movement in the downswing right and then get that feel of how you use your feet against the ground particularly that lead foot you're really going to stay in posture better and able to get the low point of your swing ahead of the ball get ball and then turf contact and really really dramatically change your ball striking so guys hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have like it and share it comment below and i'll get back to as many people as i can if you have enjoyed today's content and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the button below. Remember to ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.